Welcome to another episode of Hire to Hunt. We're going to keep you on your toes because we're changing it up again. What we're doing with this episode is we're going back and we're going to give you some of the best stuff I've experienced and the team has experienced over the last eight seasons. Best of Hire to Hunt, coming at you. I'm Claudio Angaro and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself, I'm going to build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. We take people hunting. Kill them all, guys. Shoot them all. Shoot them all. Okay, go! We cruise the countryside. Okay, here we go, here we go. Let him draw him in, let him draw him in. There you go. All right, roll him, roll him. Holy Good shooting, boys. We look for ducks and geese. Okay, okay! We get stressed out. Watch the right, right side, right side. We, uh, we find them. Go, 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 go. We establish a pattern. Go, 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 go! Kill these guys, kill the two, kill the two. We get permission, we take these guys on. That's the crux of what we do every day. To be a part of the team, you have to eat, sleep, and breathe bird hunting. Uh, you have to understand birds and, and you have to understand what it means to have to put a hunt together. And, you know, I, I tell the guys, I mean, you have to come back with a hunt. I mean, if, if ducks or geese are touching the ground or the water somewhere, it's our responsibility to put our hunters underneath there. And it's not always easy, um, but it's that sense of urgency that's critical. And if you come back and you go, eh, I didn't find anything, you might not be around next year. We're filming a television show yeah. called Hired to Hunt. Love it. How cool is that? That's cool. So if you if you if you're okay with being potentially on it, you have to sign this talent release form. Talent? And no, I'm talent? not calling your agent. And no, you're not that talented. <laughs> a typical startup. If it can go wrong, it will. It shouldn't be Murphy's law. It should be Claudio's law. It will go wrong. <laughs> I think I've got an amazing back shoot. You know, we call that that Bruner's roost. Yeah. Remember I hunted there yeah, with Ted yeah. Bruner? It's just a back shoot. They come back there for a couple hours in the middle of the day and it was rack. It's small. It's 40 yards across. You probably don't want to do it all. 150. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can. Uh, Mel's a beauty. Well, if you, uh, if you see on his bedroom door, there's a, uh, there's a, uh, a little logo from Raisin Bran, the little two scoops in the sunshine. Like we call Mel now, we call him his new name, Scoop Dog. Because, uh, I mean, he, it's not like he's scooping the hunts, but I mean, if I go, okay, Mel, I need you to watch this hunt for me. Well, there's no way I'm going to get to hunt that hunt. Mel will be on that hunt no matter what. So, um, yeah, we call him Scoop Dog and he doesn't like it, but all the other guides get a big kick out of it, you know. Well, if he's hunting in the morning, then because I'm floating, I'll go watch his area f that morning. So he's got all these hunts going, and most of the time, one of them is a target for the afternoon. Because I put it to bed, I'm going to hunt it. 
So that's where the scoop comes in because I'm usually doing either one of Jay's or one of Claudio's. So they call it scooping their hunt. That's how that works. I mean, it happens to all of us. But if you're covering for a guy while he's hunting, you usually scoop one of his hunts. It's, it's kind of good because they, they, they spot them, they find them. <laughs> you get to go watch and put them to bed and scoop them. <laughs> that's where that comes from. So because I scooped one of Claudio's and one of Jay's, that's where the two scoops go. That makes me very happy as an outfitter. Good work, guys. Well, it was a good hunt. I mean, yeah, it was. Scoop dog. Scoop. Scoop dog. Well, I thought there could have been a star there rather than you know scoops, but Claudio's idea, of course, I'm sure. In 1995, yeah. with Don Harrington. Yeah. They're out of Ohio, I think. Sheldon's brother Greg spotted this. Yeah. And it was swath, so we didn't have an exact pin. It took us three hours to find the button, which was it was either here or just a little further that way, or from what I can remember. And that's right. the one downstairs in the bathroom. You know that little goose chair poster with those yes, guys? Yes, yes. Yeah, that's nice. the picture. Twenty-one years later, or twenty years later, it would be kind of nice. Yeah. Get the kill stick out right here. Benelli Superback Eagle 2, brand new, ready to hunt. And it's picture time. Yeah, that's that's no, neat. For sure, Especially for him to come out to the field. And for him to come out and feed with the mallards in a pea field, that's something else. Wow. Check it out. Let me give you a little bit of history on these uh, on the wood ducks at the Ongaro Lodge. I guided a hunt with Bob Pfeffer, who's now dead. This would have been in 1995. We shot two on the same hunt. The following year, two miles south of the lodge, we shot one on opening day with Charlie Swicord from South Carolina. And now this. Wow. Four wood ducks in 21 years. The one fella says, well, look at this. I'm like, what is that? It's no way it's a wood duck. Oh yeah, it was classic. The way we have the snow geese decoying now is unbelievable. I mean, they, they're decoying closer and better than ducks and the volume is higher and they're these big white things that just make a lot of noise and they, they will leave. And then they just, they come in sometimes way too hot to shoot at them. And then other times they hang up and watch and it, it's just, if you're a waterfowler, it's breathtaking. And, you know, snow geese get a bad rap. I mean, people call them sky carp. Well, you can call them all sorts of names, but that's just because they won't come down and decoy. Go, 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 go. Nice, 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 nice. But once you figure it out, It is the best thing going. You know, when everyone says they're not good eating, well, you know, maybe some of the adult birds that are 9, 10, 11 years old, yeah, probably not. You wouldn't eat a 9-year-old chicken either. But them, them immatures, you know, they got those gray backs. They eat well. They're fine. I had five hunters that morning, and they all had four boxes of shells. So that's 25 times 4. Is 100 rounds per hunter and we ran out of ammo that morning so 500 rounds we shot yeah so it was consistent shooting and we could have probably shot another 100 rounds after that too the birds were still coming what did we get 123 i think uh we had our our 40 duck limit and then we shot what 85 geese so it's yeah, 123 birds total. Yeah, that was the biggest shoot they ever had at the lodge. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you feel very proud and, and um, very accomplished, right? And that, you know, all that time and effort that you spend 
spotting and studying the hunt and getting permission on it and it all comes together. I wish we had some more ammunition. <laughs> That's great. Oh yeah, right. Don't That's... jinx me. No. <laughs> You're 130 geese short, man. <laughs> what? It's maybe spec blue hybrid. Yeah. Right there. Look at that. Dark neck, orange feet. Probably a blue goose speckle belly hybrid. Look at that. I've I've done setups like this before. It's worked. Is it ideal and exactly the way I hoped it would pan out? No. Will it work? I'll tell you in about two hours. <laughs> hold, hold, hold. Those are perfect. Those are perfect. Kill those, kill those. Those are perfect. That's what I want to see. Ready, get ready, get ready. Okay, kill those, kill those. Too close, too close. Be patient, guys. Be patient, be patient. They're, they're five yards away. They're only five yards away. Just be patient. Oh my god. I don't know what to do. Just hold tight. Hold tight. I want some specs to do it. Let those land. Let them land. Kill these specs right here. And then kill them. That's nice. Load, load, load. Get ready for those singles. Load, load, load. Shoot up. Up, 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 up. Ah, ah, ah. Load, load, load. Load and get down. Load. This is like by far the best hunt I've ever been on. Load and cover. Load and cover. Here they come. That was crazy. It's 75 degrees out of here. I didn't know what to do. There was one point where I remember where there was so many birds around us. You know, there was high ones, there was low ones, there was specks, there was white geese, and I mean there was two killable birds, but other ones on approach where I just didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to call the shot. And you know, when you're when you're out there and you, you've got your hunters, you always try and call the shot so it's kind of center and out front, so all four or five of your guys have this beautiful, clean opportunity to get up, mount their gun, shoot, and, and make it fair for everybody. And and it just you know I wasn't getting that feeling based on what was going on for that brief instant. And then of course you know as the evening progressed, there's some great smooth opportunity, but. It's good. DC, DC. Kill DC. Nice shot, John. On the left, guys, on the left. These stacks. Coming low, coming in. Let's see what they do. Oh, yeah. Get ready, get ready, get ready. These three. Kill these, kill them, kill them, kill them. They're right there. Kill them all! That's nice. They're too hot, they're too hot, they're too hot. They're, they're way too hot. Out front, out front, out front. Just hold. Hold tight. They're gonna do it this time. Get ready. Out front, be ready, be ready. Shoot something! Go, go, go! Load, 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 load. That was absolutely crazy. Oh, fuck, five kills. Go, 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 go. Nice. Hold, hold, hold. Go, 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 go. Let him score. Let him do it, let him do it. Let him spin, let him spin. Go center over the car. Just give him a minute. Let's, they're spinning, let him spin. Let him spin. They're gonna spin. 
They're gonna come and do it just like that. Just get ready, get ready. Right up front. Left side. Be patient. Shoot your zones. Go, guys. Go, go, go. It was good. Tonight was very good. How freaking awesome was that? What a great day. Big smiles, guys. So here's the situation. We had, uh, we spotted these birds. They're all here. They've been here for a lot of days, like several days. And uh, it's a carrion hunt, so we had to wait for them to get close to a road within three or 400 yards. And then the way the wind was early in the afternoon, I saw the slew bottom. I thought, perfect cover. Anyhow, the wind switched on us, so we kind of modified the spread, and well, I'd say it worked. I'd right. rather be lucky Epic than good. Hunt, and, uh, as good as it gets. I think the evidence Thank speaks you, for itself. Yeah. Well, Claudio. my pleasure, guys. Yeah, well done. Fun. And, and you know what, good guys? Hunt. It makes a difference when I got great shooters in it. You can stack up the birds. You make, you know, take advantage of the opportunity, and that's good. Yep. Good All work. Right. Thank you. That's what awesome. we come here for. Now, now let's carry an extra thousand pounds of birds out of the field. <laughs> <laughs> let's yeah, let Mel carry an extra thousand pounds of birds out of the field. <laughs> yeah, somehow that's not fun now. I never thought of that. I think this is the best hunt I've ever been on. Really. No, no, no. Especially with like the, uh, the variety and everything. Yeah, it's a variety. Thanks, Thanks man. man. Thank you. Good job. Thanks. All right. Thanks. I love hearing that. Yeah. That makes Can't me complain. Happy right here. It really does. Go to the trip. I don't know what to do. I, I don't <laughs> know what to do. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. Couldn't have gone any better. Wow. It was good. I'm happy. Well, welcome to the 100 Bird Club. Oh, the 100 Bird the 100 Club. Bird That's bird right. Club. That a boy. That's good the job. fourth. Good job. The, the fourth. I'll welcome you too. No, not yeah. the 100 Bird, the 100 Goose. 100 no, Goose. 100, 100 Bird Club. No, 100 Goose. I killed 100 Geese. Today. Yeah, but Jay didn't. No, I didn't. No, no. Oh, I did. Not a hundred. Oh, it's a hundred bird club. Oh, the hundred, hundred bird, bird club. Because you told yeah. us you've never got a hundred. I haven't birds, killed. And now you birds. have. That's so right. that's good. Hundred bird clubs is good. Uh, oh, so are awesome. we starting a hundred goose club? No, 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 no. no, 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 no what no, do you mean? No, no, no. There's a hundred goose. <laughs> I thought Dustin killed a hundred geese. No. 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 The most was I hit eighty, and which he was, was huge. He was about seventy, I think. He seventy was. geese. Yeah. Yes, I was yeah. 60. So. Yes! <laughs> yeah. So you just but raised the bar. I raised the bar. Big day today. I know records are meant to be broken, but uh, Brad just cracked the 200 bird mark on a hunt. And uh, I don't know, we got just under 400 birds today. So big day. I've been waterfowling for 61 years. I ain't never seen nothing like that. <laughs> hey, you know what it was? Oh, like really? A layered wedding cake. <laughs> layered wedding cake, nice. Dude, that's the layered wedding cake no. right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Harris, you are a beauty. You are a beauty. You know, you know, I get guys once in a while, they go, Claudio, what do we got to wear for camel? And I go, we're going to cover you up, you can wear a purple suit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, the scarf was over the top. We can't rest on our laurels here. I mean, you know, we come off a big hunt, and, and for example, we had a group shoot. Oh, I, I don't remember the number now. It was a big hunt. Jason shot a bunch of snows, or, or maybe it was Dustin. I can't remember. And a bunch of ducks. And, you know, the first thing the guy said when they walked into the door is, So, what are we doing this afternoon? You know, and it's like, We're taking you hunting. So, you know, it's, it's, it comes and goes very quickly. You know, we hunt a lot, we hunt every day. And, and yeah, we, just, we have enough time for a high five. All right, let's move on. You know, it's, it's not like winning the Stanley Cup. It's like winning a bunch of little Stanley Cups, you know, all the time. And it's like, well, let's just go win another one. That's where the pressure comes from. It's, it's having to do that all the time and, and not resting on, you know, what you did yesterday. You said you wanted one. Uh, Ask wait, and you shall wait. receive. <laughs> yeah, I've been hunting for 50 years. It's the best hunt I've ever been on. Nice. Truly. Thanks, man. It's Thanks. true. Thanks. That's why you brought Appreciate the one it. time. Yeah, no problem, <laughs> I said, that's 1,200 pounds. I can feel it coming down the river. Oh, oh I did. Did. You get one with just Brad by himself. Ready? Go. Oh, I 
I saw that. Was it me? <laughs> okay, go. Oh, there's no more. Widget. Oh, you got a widget. It was a drink. <laughs> oh, yeah. Watch this drink. Are we going on the drink or waiting? Oh, right there. Go, 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 go. Oh, that is one. Uh -huh. Ready? Go, 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 go. Okay, <laughs> kill these four. Here, go. Kill that one. On the left. Here, you go. One shot. You ready? Go, go, go. Atta boy! <laughs> that was something else. It's because you're calming down a little bit. Yeah, exactly. That was pretty cool. them guys right up front shoot them right up front right in the hole right in the hole there you go it's a good day man yeah it's awesome so good this is a crazy this is a great day great great day there you go it's good it's good Daryl yeah, good it stuff awesome. great thanks, thanks again